Vincent Valentine, EX Turk, my Arch Fiends. How's my Arch Fiends doing? And we're going to be taking two of the hottest Final Fantasy Divas from the series. Two of the hottest Final Fantasy Waifus, Divas, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to put them in death battle. So, with the skills and everything, and everything. We're going to be including the armor, their skills, and everything. Just like I do in every other Final Fantasy death battle. Now, Tifa Lockhart from Final Fantasy VII, you know, one, um, one of the most toughest members of Avalanche. Like, so tough. This woman has survived the slash of Sephiroth's sword. You know, went to hell and back and got even stronger. Even, even survived the gas chamber that Shinra put her through. Tifa Lockhart. The, the the female champion of the life stream versus the strongest mercenary woman in the world of EOS that once worked for the terrifying, terrible, the terrible Niflheim Empire. All right, here we go. Okay, what was it? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay. T oh, yeah, Tifa's abilities that you can use. Uh, this is, but okay, we got. We're gonna use the business. Okay, sorry. Here is the analysis. Forget the frills. Here's just the analysis. Now, Tifa Lockhart can use. Uh, Tifa Lockhart can use magic materia, just like everybody else. But she's also one of the strongest martial artists, taught by the greatest martial artists in the world of Gaia, known as Master Zongin, after her father passed. And she has survived. No human, okay, no normal human could survive Sephiroth's sword. But Tifa Lockhart has survived Sephiroth's sword. She has no power, no, you know, she's not a soldier. She don't have any of the Mako injects or anything like that. And she survived Sephiroth's sword. Because if you didn't know, Sephiroth's sword could kill you one hit. So, you know, if you're a normal, if you're a normal human being, of course. That's how powerful the Masamune is. She's even tried to wield it and use it against him, of course. The Masamune only answers to Sephiroth in the end of the day. But she was able to be a badass in, before, in Crisis Core. And also in Final Fantasy VII. This woman has, you know, the best martial arts abilities. Plus, she's very agile and fast. If you've seen her fighting uh, Advent Children with Laws, one of the Se one of the Sephiroth Parasite characters, um, one of the Sephiroth Parasite characters, she's actually, you know, she's actually she would have actually almost really won the fight. But you know, he retreated, and, and you know, Laws is kind of a bitch made dude because he just retreated just over a phone call. So. With that, she can use magic abilities, and her 7th heaven ability is just as strong as Cloud's Omni Slash. A little bit. Maybe, like, like a little bit, not I mean, not so much, but, like, a little bit. So, we got that. Now, RNA Highwin got the power of the Dragoons. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still streaming. I'm just making a video before I start streaming using the audio thing on here. Anyways, yeah, um... But she, okay, Aranea Highwing has the power of the Dragoon race. She can use her abilities. Even one of her abilities is Highwing where she can do a high jump and, and, and fuck you up really badly. She's actually survived the battle between her and Noctis the first time around. Of course, she escaped, of course. But she escaped because Aranea was afraid that Noctis was way stronger than her. And that's the truth. She's uh, She was actually... She was actually underpowered by Noctis, but she's very strong. She's actually known as the the most feared mercenary woman in EOS for good reasons too. This person could probably, um, the, the, RNA could probably take on the likes of Ravis, and well, I'm gonna say she would win, but she would at least give Ravis a run for his money. So you know, you gotta see she. So she's really strong. Plus, she's a demon hunter. She's hunted and killed. Uh, she, she's hunted. And killed, hunted and killed, um, what is it, hundreds of demons. So, with that, this, with, with that, she's, you know how strong she is. Now, before anyone get here is the actual results from this death battle. Thank you for coming to the stream. I'm going to finish this up right now. I think Tifa would win. Because Tifa has survived a lot worse. 
than Aranea has. Sure, Aranea has hunted a lot of demons, but Tifa has survived Sephiroth's Masamune, you know, the gas chamber in Shinra, plus she can use magic materia. I mean, I'm not saying, sure, I don't know if Aranea can use magic or not, but I guess, assuming that she could, Tifa would have already mastered it, because Tifa is like the master woman of Final Fantasy, you know, next to, of course, you know, there's other ones like Lightning and stuff like that, but we're not putting her against Lightning. And in Dissidia, she held her own against Ultimecia, you know, the Time Witch. And actually, she would have finished, she would have finished Ultimecia, but, uh, you know, Ultimecia left. So the point, the point of this battle is, I have to say Tifa would be the winner because... Tifa is just a little bit more powered. She has more skilled. She's been in, you know, she, I mean, she's been as, uh, you know, she may, okay, she may not have been as, in battle as much as uh, Aranea has since the age differences, but Tifa had the best teacher. Tifa had the best teacher. Zongin taught her a lot. Plus, she survived Sephiroth's sword, and her seventh heaven uh, limit break is so powerful. It could wipe it, it could wipe you out if especially if you get it all right. So Tifa would be the winner of this beautiful demon. Now I love Aranea. Aranea's awesome. She's sexy. She's awesome. She has a lot of power. But I give this round to Tifa. And may the crystal be with you guys. I gotta get on my twi on my stream now. My viewers want to see my stream, so I need to get on to it. So may the crystal be with you. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, no, 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 no.